Hi, this is Phil Hartman with PH Fabrication and Horton Race Cars. Just wanted to give you guys a weekly shop update. Hope everyone is doing well out there. So, this week was a very exciting week, also a very busy week. But um, if you've been following along earlier this week, the customer came up and we were able to set the land speed car down for the first time on four wheels. Now everything uh, worked perfectly. It went down. The suspension worked like it was supposed to. Ride height was a little bit off, but that's to be expected with uh, never having it on the ground. But there's plenty of adjustment in the suspension to uh, fix that. Also, by adding a lot more weight to the car, we'll also change the ride height. But also on the land speed car, you can see we've been working with the rear fin. Now this is one of three fins. The This will be the top fin and we'll have two side fins that will also uh, help with a little bit of downforce. This top one just helps with some stability. You can see it's an all aluminum frame and it'll be skinned by a 90 thousandths aluminum. And this is just basically to keep the vehicle stable. And then the side fins will keep uh, a little bit of downforce while going down the track or the salt. But um, that's been a pretty bit busy uh, project this week. Also on the uh, front half here, while the customer was here, we were able to figure out where the uh, shifter needed to go. We also kind of got a dash design in mind. And I think I already went over, but I, there's the pedals that are mounted and those are all set for them. Also, you can see underneath the uh, land speed car, it's a uh, trailer dolly. Now these cars are really low to the ground. So to move them around, is really difficult. Also with the steering turning just a little bit, you really can't uh, turn them around very easy. So we've got a trailer dolly with a ball on it. And then we built this receiver that we're gonna mount and it's got a receiving receiver for the ball. And this way they can raise it up on the air jacks, slide the dolly under, and then let it set onto that receiver and turn the car around or load it onto the trailer. So there's a lot of little things like that that need to be done on the land speed car. And once we get that finished up, I'm really excited to get it uh, back to the customer and can't wait to see it run down the, the salt flats. Over here on the gasser, this came in last week and uh, just got a list of stuff to do to get it up and running. So it's got a small block in it right now. We're gonna switch it over to a big block with a clutch. Also needed to add a few updates to the roll cage it's only got a roll bar and we're gonna do a full cage but um, and then like I said you can see there's no door bars and we have the uh, seats out of it because we've been starting to work on the cage and you can see my uh, milk crate that way I can sit in it and move it around but I'm um, very excited to have this project in the shop and looking forward to seeing it all finished and uh, ready to uh, race with the, either the southeast gassers or the outlaw gassers I'm not sure what class he's trying to run in or uh, if he's going to run in any of those classes at all and just maybe go out and have some fun. Well, I hope everyone's having a great weekend and I will uh, keep in touch and talk to you all soon. Bye.